And welcome back. Andrea Hellman, artist and member of Fresh Gallery, joins us now. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your work. How are you? Very good. Thank you for having me. Yes. Okay, so your work is beautiful. We're going to get to that in just a second. But why don't you tell our viewers just a little bit about your personal artistry and kind of what you do? All right. Well, I'm a member of Fresh Gallery um, in Springfield, mm -hmm. and I joined Fresh Gallery last year uh, in 2003. And I'm just kind of getting my feet wet in the art world in Springfield. But um, I was an artist back before I became a teacher. I'm an associate professor at Missouri State University oh, in wow. the English cool. department. Okay, very cool. Very so talented. your work, tell us about like specifically, I'm assuming you're a painter. Is that like the right way or how would we say this? Well, currently I'm a digital painter. I started a out digital as, painter, yes, okay. I started out in watercolors and oils. And then I did etching okay. and lithography. And when I restarted my career, so to say, I started working in digital. Mm. How does digital differ from like what you've done in the past? Well, it's less messy and less toxic. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a positive. That's, a, that's all the way very around. positive. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Less messy, less toxic. Okay. <laughs> it's a all good right. thing. Let's talk through some of your pieces. Start with this yes. big one right here to my right. All right, that's a good way to start because I'm really into abstract. Okay. I love textures, yeah. I love color, and I love movement. And so I started doing a lot of abstracts and I have a whole collection of abstracts, but abstracts are a hard sell because they need a lot of explanation. People are not, uh, you know, they're not that easily connecting with an abstract as with figurative work. Mm -hmm. So I started doing some of the same technique with landscapes. So here you can see one of the landscapes that I have of Pikes, Pikes Peak that my family mm -hmm. uh, climbed, of course, um, with the clog wheel train. Yes. <laughs> so, and then this was the, this was our view off of Pikes Peak. And I carried the same uh, concept of the abstract using very similar brush strokes mm. and the same kind of filters that make it look very silky. Mm -hmm. And I did a whole series of landscapes. You can see I, uh, I was invited to, to uh, give a, a workshop in Hawaii and that's when I um, it took this photo that was the reference for this abstract, essentially mm -hmm. abstract painting with yeah. the silk. Seal. Silky is the perfect word. I mean, yeah. we were, I was looking at him thinking, what, what is it? It's, it's silky. Yes, I love it that. is silk. Yeah, it's a special filter that I apply that makes everything smooth and shiny. And I also do a lot of blending and okay. layering. And I feel like I invented this technique <laughs> digitally. I um, love it. Nobody has told me that I'm wrong about it, but I really haven't seen it anywhere. But and I thought, hmm, I really want to put figures in it mm -hmm. because um, people relate to figures more. And so um, some of the figures that I put in, these are orchids in my window. And I was looking mm. at them a couple of weeks ago. And I said, well, you know, I could just do a photograph of an orchid. But then I said it was so much more sensuous to put it in this, yeah. in this silky texture. And then I thought, mm, what could jump off the silk? <laughs> and that was, that's when the horses the came. Horses I just I remember it. that, um, you know, I'm the, in my family, I am the first uh, on my father's side who doesn't have a horse, but <laughs> never had a horse. Ah. So my mother always said, well, I will buy you a pony. And one year she did come back from Hungary and brought me a beautiful sculpture of a horse, which I use as the reference for a lot of the mm -hmm. horse paintings. Mm -hmm. And so I ended up with a whole series of horse paintings and they are now a feature show on Fresh Gallery for this month. The opening reception is March 1st and I'd love everybody to come and see yes. them. It's a yes, great yes, gallery. Yes, yes. It's yeah. really, it's fun. Yeah, so opening show March 1st at Fresh Gallery, but also there's some other places people can find your work. So tell us about that. Yes, I'm kind of all over the place. I have a few pieces at the Sky Gallery at the airport. Okay. So do take a picture with a <laughs> <laughs> little selfie on your way out. Yep. You yes. And come to the Creamery because the Creamery also has a secondhand emotions show. So I okay. have two pieces there. They're a little bit more emotional. One is called Entanglement and the other is Restless Night. Okay. And, um, and there's a wonderful exhibit going on at the Park Central Library that's called. Um, I think incredibly bright mm -hmm. creatures, mm -hmm. so something with reading You're between everywhere. the lines. Yes, just, so I have just five for you. There. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and come to the form gallery too, because I have a wall there. All the places. All right, well, thank you so much for being here thank and sharing you so your work. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. We appreciate well, it. Thank you so much.